guys, it's Jane and I'm here today to do my March wrap up. I read 10 books in March. They break down to two non-fiction, one horror, one mystery, two sci-fi, three, where are we? Three fantasies and one 19th century Russian classic. Um, I've actually reviewed uh, in a general way almost all of these books before so I'm just going to run really quickly through them and then in the description below I'll link to the videos where I talk about them. Most of those are Friday Reads videos where I wrap a few at once. So um, I started the month with The Wandering Fire by Guy Gabriel Kay which was the second of the Fiona Bar Tapestry. Um, I was reading this as part of a group read um, led by Sabrina from Stakachino. There is actually a third book, but I pulled out at that point because I just wasn't enjoying it. Um, then I read The Night Sessions by Ken McLeod, which is a really interesting sci-fi story about artificial intelligences and religion. So there you go. Um, then I read The Secret History of Wonder Woman by Jill Lepore, which is a non-fiction book looking at uh, the guy who created Wonder Woman and his family and uh, the wider social context of the time and feminism between the suffragettes and second wave feminism in the States. It's a really interesting read, and man, they were colourful characters. Um, then I read Stephen King's Carrie. My excuse is that I read this for my In Real Life book club. It wasn't my choice. Um, yeah, if you're interested, you can hear what I thought about it by looking up the Friday Reads video where I talk about it. I finished The Brothers Karamazov this month, which is a big red letter day thing for me. Um, there's one video where I just dance around celebrating it, and then there's another exceedingly long video where I actually talk about the book. Um, I'm really sorry for the length of that review video, but um, look, let's just say that there are at least another 10 minutes that I shot, that I cut out, so you could thank me for that at any rate. My favourite book of the month is the one that I finished next, which was Ancillary Sword by Anne Lahey. Uh, this is the second in the Imperial Ratch trilogy. The third one's not out yet. Um, I also uh, recorded a standalone um, review of that. That was a stonking good read and that is the one that I am uh, all about winning the Hugo. <laughs> so we'll wait and see. Um, I finished Disco for the Departed by Colin Cotterell which is another of the Dr. Siri Painborn mysteries set in Laos in the 1970s. Dr. Siri is a coroner and there's supernatural elements. It's a really interesting story. I read Understanding Comics by Scott McLeod, which is another non-fiction. It's a comic about comics and that kind of blew my mind. And I read New Amsterdam by Elizabeth Bear, which is a alt history, turn of the 20th century, vampire detective story kind of yeah and there were lots of elements of that that I enjoyed but I wasn't really blown away by it I talk about that in one of my Friday Reads videos as well the only book that I finished this month that I haven't talked about already is Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch which is the first in the Gentleman Bastard series this one's been all over booktube so I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard of it it's a really fun fantasy adventure story it's kind of a caper um, the Gentleman Bastards are sort of this um, group of thieves gentlemen thieves who steal from the rich and they have all sorts of disguises and not everybody knows what's going on it's in this really complex world and it's like in the story stuff just keeps happening it's like I thought that the story it felt like the story was nearly over at about the one third mark like about to finish but then something else happens and then it again at about the one half mark and then something happens and then again at the two thirds mark and then something happens and it's just this like constant barrage of events it's a really fast paced fun read Okay, apart from those books and the book videos that I made, I also did three Mystery Monday videos this month. The first one for the month was the second half of my 10 recommended crime authors uh, video. I also did an award special where I ran through a whole bunch of crime fiction and mystery fiction awards. 
And then just this past Monday, I did uh, a one about the Lefty Awards, which is one that I hadn't looked at in my awards series. And um, it's a bit special. It does lots of cosy mysteries and humorous mysteries. There's also a, an historical mysteries category that I looked at there. The only other video that I made this month was I made it one <laughs> top five Wednesday <laughs> video. It feels like once that part of the week rolls around I'm out of time and ideas but anyway we'll see maybe I can do a little bit better next month at those. I made a um, top five books that make me think video. So what else did I do this month? I was really sad during the month um, with the news that Terry Pratchett had died. We all knew that he wasn't well, but it's very sad. Um, Terry Pratchett was a, a really talented storyteller and a, a rightly successful author. And uh, he brought a lot of people a lot of joy. And so it's very sad uh, that he's not doing that anymore. I also, um, this month, played a lot of Minecraft, <laughs> which is a bit bananas, but, you know, under the skin, I think I'm actually a 10-year-old boy. So I played a lot of Minecraft, and um, I was listening to Welcome to Night Vale while I was um, playing Minecraft, and that is a... F if you have not heard of this, this is this podcast... Uh, every episode is like a session with the community radio station. They do the news and different things that are going on in the community. And it's just weird. And, um, yeah, a lot of fun, you know, like tall tale, just weird kind of way. The coming month, I have got a few things lined up. I normally don't do TBRs, but I've actually got a few things that I've committed to this month. So I thought I'd just mention them here before I go. I'm uh, doing a buddy read with Tanya from List Obsessed Reader. We're actually supposed to do this. We agreed that we were going to do this in March, but then I got wrapped up with the Brothers Karamazov off and it just didn't happen. So we're going to be reading The Swan Book by Alexis Wright. I'm very nearly ready to begin that. I'm just about an hour off finishing the book that I'm reading at the moment. The Swan Book I'm really excited about. Alexis Wright is one of Australia's um, most famous Aboriginal authors and um, the, pre the premise of this book sounds really fascinating. Um, I read her uh, award-winning Carpenteria last year and that was, yeah, a head trip and The Swan Book sounds, if anything, even trippier. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm also signed up uh, with Nicole from... Uh, Nicole's Adventures in SFF. She's running a read through the Hugo nominees um, starting from in a couple of days time when the nominees are announced. I'm also going to be reading Octavia Butler's Xenogenesis series which is uh, the new series that Sabrina's um, seasonal reading club is, um, is doing. So that's going to keep me um, pretty busy. I'm not going to be here tomorrow to do a Friday Reads video. Um, if, if past history is any guide, I'm not going to be in any state emotionally <laughs> after Good Friday service in the morning to do anything tomorrow except for mope. So I hope you're all well. You don't miss me too much tomorrow and I'll talk to you later. Bye.